Kenya Airport Authority workers have downed their tools, paralyzing operations at different airports around the country. Now, this following a high court direction last Friday that gave KAA 10 days to conclude negotiations on reduced pay increases with airport workers or they proceed on strike. Now, in court documents seen by Citizen TV, a judge ordered that should KAA refuse to comply with the new court orders or court directive, then the Kenya Aviation Workers Union will be free to commence industrial action across KA offices countrywide. Faisal Ahmed has more on this story. The contracted battle between the Kenya Airports Authority and the Kenya Aviation Workers Union has ended with cow union members going on strike protesting the delayed implementation of the collective bargaining agreement that was signed between the two parties in 2019, which sought to increase the workers' salaries by at least 13%. Last Friday, High Court Judge Lady Justice Monica Mbaru gave Kenya Airports Authority 10 days to conclude negotiations on the pay increase with the airport workers, failure to which they would proceed on strike. The strike has affected all airports around the country with reports of delayed flights and some instances planes landing without marshals to help them on ground. KAA board has proposed to increase unionizable worker salaries by 6% yearly from 2016 to 2019, translating to a total of 231.3 million shillings. The move aimed at preserving cash at the cash-strapped authority. The developments came a few months after KAA Managing Director Alex Guitari said that the decision by the National Treasury to mop up 12.5 billion shillings surplus cash from its coffers in 2019 left it broke and unable to settle supplier debts. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.